Community resources. So there are a lot of community resources out there for uh, this di disease world, whether you had a dissection or you've been diagnosed with a bicuspid valve or stenosis or regurgitation or aortic aneurysms, whether thoracic, ascending, descending, abdominal, doesn't matter. It can be really confusing when you jump online, where do I go for support? Because there are a lot of pages in Facebook with a lot of, with a, a lot of support they claim to offer. It's a lot of drama and you know politicking that goes behind the scenes on some of these pages on what you can and you can't post, arguments, all kinds of crazy things. It's just like real life. But we have vetted a lot of pages and even this list that we provide to you does not include all of the pages. Just the pages that tend to have at least a thousand or more or they're rapidly growing in community members and it, it it may be smaller but it may be a specific niche that's important to you but there's also 501c3 charities that work really hard to raise funds to provide all their initiatives for you as well so let's, let's take a look at this because there's a lot of room for everybody to help everybody um i think i thought i just pulled up that resources list and no i just did the same thing twice okay so here's some of the um some of the the things that you can look at. And this just goes through a lot of the things that Aorta Cope offers within the community. But if you have an abdominal aneurysm, there's the top page for that, ab Abdominal Aortic Aneurysm Awareness. Great page if that's what you have and you only want to specifically talk to people that have an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Uh, we've got Aortic Aneurysm and Aortic Valve Disease Support Group. That is from our friends at Rock From The Heart small and mighty growing page. Uh, so you can see Aortic Athletes is another page that collaborates with us. It's specifically for those that are looking for like-minded people in the exercise world. The largest one that exists for people with uh, dissections is Aortic Dissection um, Support Group. They have over 5,000 members. I mean, think about it logically. If you have an aortic dissection, you're going to type in aortic dissection survivor, <laughs> and this page is going to come right up. Uh, so if they're highlighted, it's because we've we've used them often, but there's other groups. They just may be smaller and not necessarily as active. Obviously, we have our groups uh, highlighted in red. We have our private forum, our caregivers only forum and our grief forum, too. Um, survivors of aortic dissection would be the next largest uh, organization or not organization Facebook page. But then there is our uh, nonprofit organizations that you can check out as well. And there's a lot of them and they're all hyperlinked that you can go to them. So each of those, each of these groups have different goals. Each of the Facebook pages have different goals. But I think that there's enough of a variety out there that it's like a lid for every pot, they say, or something. You'll find something that really suits your needs. Um, I'm not sure how many of you might be on Molly, but I'm, not, I'm like on all of these. And it is very different. Sometimes you find very different people, different vibe. I was thinking of uh, checking out aortic athletes, but I'm not quite sure that I'm deemed an athlete anymore. <laughs> you don't need to be. I called them. I, I didn't call them. I checked in there one day. I forgot what I did. I was so mortified. I was like, you know, why is it that I can walk around Universal Studios and Disney and log 18 million steps? But if you told me to go walk around the track four times, I would think that you are punishing me. <laughs> and I was going to write that. And I was like, oh, no, they're just. They're, they're, they will um, lift you up and cheer you on if you walked a mile. They're just, they're the kind of group that's not pushing you to do a triathlon or come work out with weights. They just want everybody to share, how did you get to do the things you love to do? And maybe if I want to do that, I should be working on a goal with my physician and monitoring my heart rate, my blood pressure. So they're just they just share a lot and they do. Well, what is everybody doing for exercise this weekend? It's going to be beautiful in most of the country. How are you going to get out and get fresh air? Kind of nice. Hmm. It's nice. So you should join. I'll check it out. You might be, you might be, you should join when you're walking on the beaches in San Diego. Well, I, you know, I've been using that time to listen to all the survivor stories because a bunch of the, well, um, the written have been made audio on the mm -hmm. YouTube channel and it's really any. We'll talk about that when we get to Survivor Series. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested in knowing your opinion. I've had a couple people tell me, wow, that was really freaky to hear somebody else's voice read my story that I sent you in writing. And I'm like, is that a problem? They're like, no, I would never have the courage to speak it out loud. So it's kind of nice if somebody else can listen to it while they're driving. That's exactly the goal. That was one of the goals. Okay, 